This plant is totally dead. It didn't store its food underground in bulbs. Instead, it adopted a very different and very drastic strategy. It condensed its entire life into a few short weeks. And its last act was to release into the sand a few hundred seeds. They're easy enough to find. And there are some. They can wait here in this hot sand, apparently lifeless for one year, two years, even 20 years. But when the rains do come, their moment arrives. One day, the land is so dry that the withered plants crunch to pieces underfoot. Two or three weeks later, and it's ablaze. Arid lands around the world, not only here in South Africa, but in Australia and Arizona, all respond to rain by rapidly producing dazzling displays of color. The sudden flush of flowers and leaves attracts lots of plant eaters. For them too, the pressures of desert living are momentarily relaxed. It may seem a paradox that some of the harshest environments should produce such unrivaled glories. But the desert soil will not remain moist for long after rain, and in that short time, plants must not only grow leaves but produce seeds. So the need for pollination is urgent. Those with the most brilliant flowers have the best chance of attracting an insect. This is competitive advertising at its most intense. So, a few days of rain, once every year or so, are enough to enable plants to survive in some of the driest places on Earth. 